Hey guys, so I'm back with another endangered tree for you. This is the most endangered tree I own. And for those who enjoy their tropical gardening, and the trees especially, you may recognise it. This is a Paulonia. However, it's not the common Paulonia tomentosa that you and I both know. This is Paulonia, and excuse the pronunciation, I believe Kawakamii. Quite hard to pronounce. As you can see, the standard big round leaves of a Paulonia. It's pretty much identical to most of the Paulonias. I'm no expert on the family as a whole. I couldn't really tell you the differences. However, I do know the, the flowers on this tree are much more vibrant purple than the Tomentosa, which are more of a lilac colour. I believe the leaves are slightly smaller in this tree as well. Now this tree was last assessed by the ICUN Red List um, in 1995 I believe. So for about 24 years this tree hasn't been assessed. God knows if it's extinct in the wild or not, we can only hope not. But when it was assessed there was only 14 mature trees left in the wild. 14. Now this is a Chinese tree, as most of my endangered trees are, so you can imagine things have only gotten worse for them. I can find no record of any conservation efforts going on, going on in China to save this tree. Uh, there's no one that I can see who's doing anything for this tree. The only saving grace, which is protecting this tree from extinction as a whole, is that they were previously very... Uh, favourable in the horticultural industry in California. They make pretty good small garden trees over in their warm climate, still temperate though, and they do really well over there. And so that's how this tree has managed to come to life. It's uh, a seed grown from a Californian tree. So these trees are most likely to become extinct in the wild in China if they haven't already. Like I say, I can find no records of what's happened to them since 1995. However, they are alive and well in California, and we have one tree here in Yorkshire as well. I did have two specimens, but as is, as with all Paulonias in our climate, um, a late frost managed to get the growth points on both trees. This one rebounded, the other one didn't. It was a, uh, a late April frost. The trees start growing pretty early. The buds open in late February and they start growing in, in March and obviously any late frost will completely wipe them out just with any other Tomentosa or Elongata, any Paulonia species in this country. But yeah, it's a stunning tree, very structural and very fast growing as well. You can see both these branches, all this growth is just this year. Now it would be best for the tree to gain height, um, to have one growth point instead of two. However, the second branch is just an insurance policy. In case we get a late frost again, which is very likely in this country, every year pretty much we're guaranteed to get a late frost in April, even May sometimes. So it's best to have as many buds on the tree as possible. So if one dies, one may save the tree. And that's why I keep it with two branches and both of these will produce more branches next spring so yep yeah, the most endangered tree in my collection Paulonia kawakamii 14 mature trees left in the wild in 1995 and this is growing in South Yorkshire in the UK